Sales are at record low levels, inventory keeps creeping up, and prices are doing... I'm Darcy Toombs, real estate broker and team leader with Toombs Team Real Estate Group at Coldwell Banker. And here's the top five things that you need to know about what happened in the real estate market in September 2023. Today, we're on location at our listing at 130 Robin Court in the Bristol, London Road area of Newmarket. This is an absolutely beautiful 2,400 square foot, four bedroom home on a great corner lot. It's loaded with upgrades and you really have to see it to appreciate it. Check out our link at toombsteam.com for more information. So let's get into it. There's five things that we really need to talk about what happened last month that's gonna dictate where we're going into the fall and winter market. Number one, the market was really slow. In the month of September, there was only 62 reported sales for the whole month. That's actually roughly half what the 10 year average is for the month of September. And it's also the fewest number of sales for the month of September dating back to 1997, which is pretty wild when you think about it because the town's certainly grown a lot since the late 90s. Number two, inventory crested 200 for the first time since September 2020. We finished the month of September with 223 active listings, which is actually still quite low on a 10 year average, which is roughly around 248. I am still expecting to see that active inventory count rise as we continue through the month of October and into the fall market. Number three. MOI is the highest it's been since February 2019 at 3.6. Now as a refresher, MOI means months of inventory. That would mean how long would it take to sell up all the active listing inventory if the current amount of sales remains steady. So if we had 200 active listings and we had 100 sales, the months of inventory would be two. Two divided by one. This MOI of 3.6 has actually caused a little bit of a steep decline in the average and medium prices in town, with them being 1,092,000 and 1,061,000 respectively. Roughly a $150,000 decline from the month of August. Number four, according to Market Watch, which is a report generated by the Toronto Real Estate Board, the sales to new listing ratio across the board came in at 28.6% which was the second lowest in Treb's market watch history dating back to 1996. This is an indicator that's telling us about only one quarter roughly of homes that are being listed are actually selling. This will be important to watch as it'll dictate how we progress through the fall and winter markets. Number five, condos are very sluggish. There was only six condo sales of all types in September, 2023. There were three condo apartments and three condo townhomes. And that's for the whole town. At the time of this video, there was currently 47 active condo listings across the whole town, which is actually the highest number of active listings we've seen all year. Now I've got two bonuses for you that really caught my eye when really diving deep into some of these stats that I wanted to also include in this video. Number one, there's currently 11 assignment listings posted in Newmarket on the Toronto Real Estate Board. What an assignment would be is that somebody has bought a pre-construction condo or home and they're looking to sell their contract on that home prior to them having to take possession of it. Now, in most cases, builders actually don't want buyers to be able to sell their contracts because they would much rather take the unit back and then sell it at the new market price rather than the one that they had sold it previously. Why I find this really interesting is because it could be a good indication that people that bought these condos, which to be honest, they're all condos that are on assignment right now, don't have faith in where the real estate market is heading and they're looking to get out of their purchase without even having purchased it. And the second bonus is that in the month of September, there was only four sales over $1.5 million. This is pretty wild because at the end of the month, there was actually 57 active listings that were priced over $1.5 million. Also, for the first time in over a year, there was zero sales over $2 million, which is pretty wild, especially since there's currently 23 active listings priced over $2 million. All right, in summary, the market is soft, much softer than it was just a few months ago. Homeowners that are thinking about a sale really need to make sure your home is ready and that you have realistic expectations on what your home is going to fetch in the market. With inventory on the rise, you can expect to see new homes coming to the market that are priced aggressively and likely priced to undercut the existing inventory that's out there. 
Ultimately, they don't want to be the ones that are sitting on the market for weeks on end. Okay, buyers, don't think that you're going to have a ton of negotiating room on some of the more desirable real estate. Homes on good lots and locations are always going to be in demand regardless of the market. It's going to be the homes that are on the okay properties and lots and locations that are going to be sitting a little longer and take a little longer to sell. You're going to have a lot more negotiating power on those homes. If you have any questions about any of the information that's been provided in this report, please feel free to reach out to us. One of our team members would be happy to sit down with you either in person or online to discuss your family's real estate needs. This market is rapidly changing and working with an agent or team that has their finger on the pulse is going to be absolutely paramount for you in the real estate purchasing and selling process. And if you're a homeowner and you'd like to get an idea on how much your home is worth in today's market, we would love to talk and provide you with a complimentary and honest home evaluation. So you can have a better idea on what your home may be worth so we can help strategize your next move. Go to tombs.team value for more information. We'll see you next month.